Hi everybody, PJ here, and today we're outside a Royal Mail Depot. And it's a fairly large one, this. So uh, we're going to go and have a look around, see if we can get a bit of video. And then, guess what? I bet we get the dread drone up. <laughs> right, let's go have a shift day. For some reason, it looks like they've got a, a footpath all the way around on the roof. Uh, I don't know what that's for. Anyway, just around here we've got uh, security. So that's security for the vehicles coming in and out. And then there we've got reception. So we'll have a look at uh, security first. And then we'll carry on from there. Now then, visitors come in this way. It says, so that must be a visitor's car park, there, and then this looks like uh, security for all the vehicles coming in and out, the large vehicles yeah, coming yeah. in and out. How are you doing? Can I help you? Uh, I'm just making a video, that's all. Yeah. Just making a video of the site. Oh, who for? Uh, YouTube. People are uh, interested. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course they are. 20 million views, mate. 20 million views. Are you security here then? So, there you go. You can see right down in there, look, loads of vehicles, but you'll see it a lot better in a bit when I get the old dread drone up. How you doing? So anyway, let's go down to the office. Can I go in this way to the office or have I got to go around the other way, mate? Hello? Can I go in this way to the office? No, you've got to go all the way to that walkway, walk all the way down. And all the way, oh, that walk's going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, there. Let's go out that way of him. Right, so, here we go. We're going to have to walk all the way down here. Oh. And then we're going to go and have a walk into reception and let them know what I'm going to do. See what the response is. You never can tell, you know, you go to some places and you think, oh, these are really going to kick off. And they're as nice as pie. And then you go to other places where you think, ah, they'll not be bothered here. And they really do kick off. Right, so let's have a look. It is a fancy building from the front, actually. Offices and stairways and everything. But let's go and have a look and see what they're going to say. Right, so they've got some tall trailers here, 16 foot two. So they are quite high. They're probably double-deckers, I would imagine. So, uh, right, it's two o'clock, looks like everybody's going home. I've caught them at home time. Yeah, these look like, well, that one at least looks like a double-decker. 16 foot two again. They're all 16 foot two. And if you look at them, you can see they all look the same height. Right. Let's go for reception. What can I do for you? Hey up, mate. Right, I'm doing some uh, videos of the site and the grounds. And uh, I'm going to fly a drone over in about 10 or 15 minutes or so, just to get some aerial shots of the grounds. Uh, do you have permission? I don't need permission, my friend. Oh, I think you do. Well, I'm afraid you're wrong, my old duck. I don't. I don't want to come on site. I'll fly the drone from public land. Same as that video from public land. <laughs> he just told me I can't go on. Yes. 
Yes, what? You can't come in. I don't want to come in, mate. As long as I'm talking to somebody, even if it's only a machine. Anybody there still? Yeah, still in there. Still not getting in. I didn't ask to come in, I just... Hang on, sorry, love, there you go. No, I didn't ask to come in, mate. I just wanted you to know I was flying a drone over the top. OK, any more comments? No. All right, thank you. It'll be about 10 or 15 minutes and it'll be up. Ah, oh, don't you just love it, eh? You're not coming in. You don't want to come in. I wanted to come in and had a walk through the gate when that woman walked in. I'd have gone in through the other entrance over there. But anyway, let's just show you this, uh, this entrance and this building and then we've got the old dread drone up and give you a better look. But we'll just show you from the ground uh, what it looks like. And then I'm curious to why they've got like a footpath up on the roof. Right, let's just turn the uh, camera around. And there you go, that's reception where I'm not allowed to go. And this is the length of the building. From one end up there, look. And then it goes all the way down there. Why have they got a footpath on the roof, mate? No idea. No, neither have I. It goes all the way down here. Right. Let's go and get the old tread drone up, shall we? Thank you. It's Friday, best day of the week. It's what, sorry? Best day of the week. Poets Day! Best day, of the... oh yeah. Poets right. Day, piss off early tomorrow's Saturday. I understand you were trying to get in the building, is it? Any... No, I weren't trying to get in the building, no. I was just wanting you to know that I was going to fly a drone, that's all. All right, and what's, what's that for? I make YouTube videos. Right, okay. Have you asked permission for that? I don't need permission, though. I'm pretty sure that the airspace over premises is restricted. I'm positive it's not. Okay. Do you mind telling, or oh, not you personally, yeah. like, but Royal Mail owns what's on the ground, mm -hmm. but the CAA control everything above. Right. Which is Civil Aviation Authority. Okay. Uh, is it just what's that for then? Is it, you don't, okay. So you're not no, trying just, to get on the premises? No, no, I don't want to so get on that. I can, I can, well, most places are. <laughs> I can see where I want to see from up there. Yeah. Is this something particular you're looking to have a look at? Or? Well, I'm curious why you go a footpath along the roof. The, the footpath on the roof, so we have um, pigeon netting, which goes around the outside, which you can see along the top there. Right. Because we have smoke vents along the top from the days we used to process, uh, you know, your daughter doors, the leaflets you used to get. So the problem was we used to get the seagulls would nest in them and they wouldn't close once we'd open them. The walkway around the edge is a requirement from Royal Mail. We require that there is safe access for people, anybody working on the roof. Oh, well, of course. Anybody well, working on the roof wants safe actually, access. It's, not, it's slightly more than the required national standard, but it's, it's just a Royal Mail thing. So just, just so if seagulls and pigeons and stuff come so and block your vents up. Yeah, so it's for the waste. The, what would happen is we would close, we would open them on a Thursday for a fire test, and then they wouldn't close because there'd be like detritus or bones on that sort of thing. Yeah. Right, so what you were doing, were you burning all the old rubbish that we didn't get there? We don't, we have a waste management company that take away that sort Right, of thing. I'm going to say, so what were the, what, why did you need to open the vents? We do smoke tests. Oh, smoke tests? Not smoke tests, sorry. Fire, you know, fire tests, part of that is opening the smoke vents. All right, okay, all so right. that if the place is on fire, and filling up with smoke, you can open the vents and people set. can get yeah, out. But oh, right, if it rains, then it's going to rain in, which is why we have to <laughs> Which is, you, you yeah. don't want. All right, I'm just trying to report someone trying to get in, if that's the case. No, no, I'm not trying to get in. I see you're one of the managers. I am, I'm the early shift manager. You're the early shift manager. Well, it's your own time then, it's it 2 o'clock. It is, it's very much my own time. I've got some paper to tell. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Sir. All right, you're then. Not, you're all right otherwise then. I could do a few quid if you go, oh, on no, it. no, that's me first. Me first. Oh, yeah. you first? Me first. Well, have a nice afternoon anyway. I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah, I'm probably going when I've done this. I've done about five while I've been here.
Yeah, yeah. Have a nice afternoon. Nearly 500 altogether. 500 videos. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Just to different sites and. Yeah, yeah, 20 million views. And... Oh, yeah. Wow. That's really good. Yeah. I see you've got that, and I noticed the little. I've not seen that because I have a friend who does a bit of stuff. The little. Uh, Wireless oh, microphones. The muffler, that's it, yeah. Oh, the wind mufflers. Yeah, yeah that's a transceiver. That's so it picks up cool, people out. And I've got this one here, and that's a receiver, and everything's clipped onto cable. So it, cable's clipped in there, hangs down, and I hang everything on it and on there. Oh. Oh. And that's a little uh, DJI Pocket 2. Very dinky, isn't it? Yeah, it's 4K video. It's, it's really good video. Very good. That's very small, isn't it? Yeah. Well, nice it's not fantastic in dark, you know, when it gets a bit dark like, yeah, but when it's like this, it's fine. And there's, and there's the old drone. Well, nice weekend, all right, up. I'll be working all weekend. Catch you, ladies. Well, there you go. Not a bad lad at all. Right. Just hope the wind keeps down a little bit, and then we'll get the old dread drone up. Yay! It's not the most fantastic weather at the moment, I must admit. I think it's just going to spit with rain in a little bit. Anyway, there's security. All we're going to do is we're going to have a run down here. Let's take her up just a little bit. Oh, I'll tell you what, while we're here, let's have a look, see if we can see this footpath. Here you go, all the way along the edge of the roof, look. And there the smoke went, it looks like. Yeah. So if the building catches fire, with a bit of luck, they can vent the, uh, the smoke out, and people don't buy of, die of smoke inhalation. I'm assuming that that goes all the way around the building. And there you go, look at all that lot. Look, quite a few uh, vehicles there. One or two, definitely. Right. They're very busy with Royal Mail, aren't they? <laughs> and to be honest, um, I'd rather have Royal Mail deliver most of my stuff rather than uh, some of these other bloody companies. Some of them are absolutely awful. I'm not mentioning any names, but some of them are absolutely diabolical. So this is the gate here that uh, they wouldn't let me in. Not that I wanted to go in, like. But, uh, no, that's why they wouldn't let me in. Oh, let's have a quick look at these. Uh... There's a footpath, look. And they look like the smoke vents around the edge. Now, as you can see, this is a busy place. Do they work Saturdays? I don't know, I don't know if they do work Saturdays or not. I know posties uh, sometimes come round on a Saturday, not always, but sometimes they do. Just make sure I'm clear of those trees. Yeah, yeah, well clear.
Uh, let's have a look. There you go. Loads more loading bays as well. Buckets loads. Is that a river at the back? Or a canal? I would say it's more of a canal. Yeah. Right then. Let's start heading back, shall we? We cross back over the road. I don't want any Arctics coming flying around the corner and wiping me out. Because funnily enough, as I've said before in the past, I'm quite allergic to pain. I just don't like it. And there we are, we're down. All done and dusted. Right, that ends our visit to uh, Royal Mail. Been quite interesting, spoke to a robot, <laughs> spoke to a nice bloke, told us why there's uh, a walkway around the roof and what a pain in the arse pigeons and seagulls are. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye everybody, see you soon.